Hi everyone. Now that we have our models and that we have our admin page configured, it's time for us to proceed with the API creation. And for that, we are going to start to create the serializers. So to create the serializers, we come here to our quiz app and we create a new Python file named serializers.py. Okay. And now that we are in serializers, we have to import two things. First is from REST framework. We are going to import the serializers. And also we have to import the models. So from our models, we are going to import our question. Yes, but also first the quiz, the question and the answer. And that's good. So before all of that, before creating our first serializer, we have to understand a little bit what is the serializer and why do you use serializer in Django. We create rows and columns in our database based on the models here. So when we create a new row in the database, we are creating an instance of this model. So for example, here in the answer, we create an instance, which is related with the question, the answer test, this right, and the other two fields. So we have complex data and to send that to an API, we want to send the data in a JSON format. So the serializers are going to help us to translate query set and instance, complex data, to JSON format and vice versa. So by using the serializers, you can connect the bridge between your database and the views. And there, besides converting this data, that which means serializing and deserializing, you can also proceed with further validation if you need. So with that explanation, let's start by creating our first serializer, which is going to be the quiz serializer. And in a serializer, we are going to place a class meta the class metal we are going to set from which model we are going to serialize is why you are uh, in irritating for the model ser serializer which facilitate us work with serializing by already looking in the models and you are going to say that we want to serialize the quiz model from that let's select some fields we can select all the fields but here we want uh, some of them and we also want to add anyone that's going to be question count after and here we have the id the title the created ad and we are going to add anyone which is the question count so the question count is going to be useful for every time that we try to assess a quiz, we want also to have the information of how many questions there is in this quiz. So this is what we are doing right now. For that, we use the serializer metal field. And we are going to say get question count which this is going to connect with uh, the method that we are going to do right now actually to be more pythonic let's write in case snake get question count okay and by doing this let's going to define our method and we are going to return object dot question count. So by defining here, now let's add here question count. And you are uh, asking how do the field is related to this method. So every time in Django that you create a field, you can custom this field by using get underscore and after the name of the field so this is allow us to get 
the number of questions in the quiz. After that, we are going to create our answer serializer. And as you can see the pattern, we create a quiz serializer, answer serializer, and after we are also going to create a question serializer. And you may be wondering why you are creating the answer serializing right now, because we are going to use that in the question serializer. Then answer serializer is going to allow us to create a nested serializer in the question serializer. Let's keep doing. Serializers dot model serializer. And now let's add the class meta. We're going to define that we want the answer model and the fields are going to be ID. I want the answer text. I want they also went if the question or the answer is right. Okay, and that's all that we have to do in uh, our answer serializer. We just have to put this in this level. Okay, and we are good. Now for the next one, we are going to do the question serializer. That one is going to be a little bit more difficult because we have to understand what we want to achieve in the end. And in the question serializer, I just no, don't want only, only these fields, but I want also to serialize, for example, each time in the API when I call a question, I want also the answers in uh, as a key and after the list of all the answers in the question. So a little bit similar that we have right here. So we can see the title, the quiz, and also the answers. Okay, to do that, model serializer. And in each question, I, uh, I also want information about the quiz. So this is going to be read only. And we want also the information from the answers. So we are going to go to the answer serializer and that's going to be many equal to two because in a question we have different and several answers. Proceeding with this, we are going to create the meta. So the model that we are going to derivate first is going to be the question model. And for the fields, we went from here the quiz, maybe the ID first. And here the quiz and the title, each question. And the answers. Okay, so if we leave everything like this, we are not going to get the answers the way that we should. For that, we have to do two things. We have to override the create method in our model serializer and to override also the update method. To do this, we do create self validate the data and here we're going to get answer data it's going to be equal to validate the data dot pop answers 
and if we don't have anything there we are going to leave that as an empty list so well, why are we doing that if you remember we have like the questions and the answers are like two different models so when you create like a question you need the answers and when you create the answers you can get you need uh, actually the relation with the question but you don't need the other fields like uh, the title of the questions and the other two to, to use that we have to create the question without the answers first to go to our database and this is why we are taking out from uh, taking out from the json that we are going to receive the answers key so you can create the questions and after when you do the pop method we are storing the information of the answers here and we are going to using that to create the answers a little bit after so now let's create the question the question is going to be question dot objects dot create and here we use the keywords of the validated data that's good so now with this we officially created the question and now to create the answers in our database so we have to loop through this list so for answer data let's make this here in plural so for answer data in answers data we are going to create an answer an instance of uh, the tensor data that we have because remember this we are supposing to receive a list but you are going to see better when we are going to use postman to test our api create question is going to be equal to question because we want to relate with uh, this question we need that for the field here and the rest is going to be the keys the key value pairs in the answer data okay so this is how we create like a nested serializer that one for creating data and now let's create let's override the update method for when we are going to update this data so in here we first have to update the instance fields so we are going to take from the validated data and what's saying here so we are going to get the data of the title instance but if there is no title in uh, the object we're going to use the instance of title that you already have so if there is nothing to update we are just going to have what you already have is what this means next instance i don't think we have anything more in the instance date just give here some notes now we are going to proceed with updating the answers for that we are going to do the same thing that we did above first we are going to pop the answers if we don't have any let this is empty and instance dot answers dot all we are going to delete so what are you doing here you are deleting the existing answers so that means that if you already have answers in the database we are going to delete them 
to update with the new ones that you are going to receive in our response, in our request, in that case. And after doing this, we have to loop for answer data in answers data. We're going to create a new answer, it's going to be answer dot objects dot Answer data. Now that we have these, we have to save the instance that we have been updating and we return the instance. Okay, so this is going to be the main three serializers that we are going to work with. After, we are going to also to create a custom serializer for the moment that we want to play with the quiz. For example, in the front end, I want the quiz data in a certain format, and we have to, um, to nest that in the best way possible to pass this to the front end. But if I do that now, that's going to be a little confusing, more confusing than this, and it is very confusing. I can agree with you guys. But after that, we are going to do the views, and we are going to see that all this is working in Postman after. So for this is all, for the serializers is everything for now. If you enjoy, put a like, share and subscribe and see you in the next one.